वेलकम टू दी सेवेंटी थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ फॉर यूनिवर्सल इंडिया फर्स्ट एंड लीडिंग फॉर मैगजीन पब्लिश बाई द प्राइम पॉइंट फाउंडेशन आई एम दीना यू फॉर जॉकी होस्टिंग द शो तमिलनाडु हैज एमर्ज एज अ हब ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग स्टडीज इन द पास्ट टू डेकेज एंड स्टूडेंट ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम दिस कॉलेजेस हैव नाउ स्प्रेड दर विंग्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब राजलक्ष्मी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एट चंदलम इज वन ऑफ द टॉप रेटेड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस अंडर अन्ना यूनिवर्सिटी चेन्नई started in 1997 with an intake of 180 students in three branches it has now grown to nearly 4000 students in nine undergraduate programs and six postgraduate programs in engineering we also offer postgraduate programs in business administration and computer applications computer science mechanical and triple e departments have been approved by the anna university to offer ms and phd programs Automobile, aeronautical and biomedical engineering programs at undergraduate level are highly sought after by the students. Both India and NAC have accredited this college on the educational front. Tata Consultancy Services (TCS) and Cognizant Technology (CTS) have both accredited them from the industry side. Ashok Leyland has recognized the college as the center of excellence in automotive. The college is also ISO certified. We spoke to Sri Ram, a final year student of IT and a class topper. We asked him as to what prompted him to join the college and what he was taking home. Please listen to him now. I joined this college basically for the infrastructure that is available. There is enough infrastructure to train ourselves as good engineers, and there is a lot of freedom given to student to pursue whatever they want, other than their regular college. we ha- we have a lot of co curricular and extra curricular activities regarding the co curricular activities which besides and which go along the lines of our education the college gives lot of motivation and guidance in the sense if i want to uh, write a paper and publish it in a magazine there are lot of things which are required to be done to get a, a paper up to that level so the college gives us and directs us to the correct resource persons to make sure what we do is correct and uh, we we are encouraged to go to other colleges and institutions and participate in in the sy- symposiums and seminars related to our stream of study we win lot of prizes outside and as a extra added motivation or an incentive the college gives equal prize money say i go out win 1000 uh, rupees and come back to the college the college gives me another 1000 rupees i am very passionate about music and my college encourages extra curricular activities also and all this encouragement comes provided we prove ourselves inside the college and give the confidence to the management that we won't fail in our main duties and that is to study and get our degrees our college uh, light music team has participated in all the competitions that happen in and around the city and we have won lot of accolades and prizes of course i must make it a point that this college has made me a very good citizen of this country we have been taught responsibilities we know how to carry ourselves once we leave this campus and go into the real world we also spoke to be lakshmi another final year triple e student she is also a topper both in academics and sports please listen to her now i'm a sports woman and i'm basically an athlete and a throwball player I have uh, participated in many state level tournaments also. Recently I was uh, shortlisted for the national throwball event. It was conducted 2 years back and I won uh, a gold medal in uh, Anna University Zonal Athletic Meet and was qualified for the interzonals. We participated in uh, many intercollegiate throwball tournaments and we have won prizes and our college uh, encourages us a lot apart from uh, the knowledge we are going to gain here. They just uh, make us adapt to the corporate society how to interact with the people and uh, how to serve better in a corporate world and then uh, we are trying to become more responsible to handle any kind of situation with uh, professional ethics and definitely i'm going to miss this college we spoke to mr benedict jayprakash nicholas a lecturer in computer science we asked him as to how they build the capabilities of the students the duty of uh, faculty is not only to impart technical knowledge but also mold the students uh, into a good professional so for that in rajalakshmi engineering college we do various things 
So when he starts his career in, his, in this college, he starts up with the bridge program. Then later when he comes in the second year and third year, we start up with program value addition programs like Infosys Campus Connect classes, wherein we teach the foundation uh, program in various CA, computer science subjects. Then uh, apart from this, we also have employability uh, camp, which is totally resident, wherein students, they come in the college and stay here for two weeks and undergo training not only in the subject related uh, sessions but also in other aspects like communication which is very vital in today's then apart from this we also have counseling mechanism actually the specialty here is that for every 15 students we have a counselor and then there is there are also another group counseling also we have wherein eminent faculty do the counseling we also have expert counselors from the industry who come counsel the students the air we encourage students to participate in nss activities and our students are actively participating in blood donation camps and also involved in plantation of trees in various arid locations and our students also involved in developmental projects for the industry as well as for the common man. Uh, having gone through all these stages study at Rajalakshmi Engineering College, we feel that he will become a good professional and help in contribution to the nation building. We wanted to assert it, how the industry feels about the college and the competencies of the students. We spoke to Mr. A.K. Patabi Raman, Head of Accreditation Process for South India in Tata Consultancy Services. Please listen to him. Rajalashmi Engineering College, Andalam, Chennai, is one of the best engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. Its management provides sagacious and purposeful leadership. Its faculty are highly rated and have an abiding commitment to the cause of competency building. His students are highly motivated, thus the entire ecosystem of the college is highly propitious for healthy intellectual growth. In a very short span of time, the college has demonstrated its strength and we in TCF, for that matter the entire industry, is benefited by the quality manpower being turned out by this college. We are very happy with their products and they are doing extremely well. We are there for them. Finally, we spoke to Dr. Sangam Meghanathan, chairperson who is behind the success of this institution. We asked her what she had planned for the future. Please listen to her. We are privileged to be in this field of education, particularly higher education, where we get this opportunity to groom the students who are uh, right after the schooling are entering the portal with half-baked ideas for us to prepare them into engineers and uh, good citizens uh, of this country. We are taking all the efforts. India is a growing economy wherein 1 billion population, uh, the youngsters uh, who are just coming out of the colleges make a lot of difference for the development of the country. We are conscious of this, put in all the efforts so that every uh, student who goes out of the campus turns out to be a value-added individual to the country. We are a 12-year-old college offering nine undergraduate programs, six postgraduate programs. We would like to become a university maybe in another three or four years to come in order to compete in a global level. Today we find a lot of our youngsters are going out of the country after finishing the graduation in order to do pursue their PG and research. If the same facility is provided within our country, on par with the global quality. I suppose our students, youngsters, will have the opportunity to stay back within the country and pursue their research activities and higher education. Thank you, listeners. That was the feature on Raj Lakshmi Engineering College, Sandalam, who have been building up the college steadily for the past 12 years and converting young boys and girls as professionals and good citizens to build a nation. Hope you enjoyed this sports show. For more updates, please log on to podduniversal.com. You can send me your comments and suggestions to the editor at podduniversal.com. This is Veena, your pod jockey, signing off from the show. Till we meet next, take care and bye-bye.